welcome back to my channel. I am very excited today because I'm doing another collaboration with Sephora Inside JCPenney. And today I'm going to be using products from It Cosmetics. So Sephora Inside JCPenney was receiving so much feedback about how they were so, so needed of this It Cosmetics line in their store and they listened to the people and brought it to Sephora Inside JCPenney. So now all of your It Cosmetics products that you're looking for can be purchased there. Um, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I achieved this very natural, radiant, no makeup makeup look. We are really focusing on enhancing your natural features um, by slightly hiding any imperfections that you're wanting to conceal. A Cosmetics line is formulated with dermatologists as well as plastic surgeons, um, so it's really targeted to help hyperpigmentation, broken capillaries, rosacea, people that are suffering with actual skin problems. I um, mean, a few videos ago, I mentioned that my skin was drastically going through something. Um, and luckily it's kind of taking a break right now, um, but I still suffer with mild rosacea. I still suffer from sun damage. I live in Florida, so sun damage is something that my whole family is experiencing as well as myself only at 25. So I like the idea of products kind of helping just create an even skin tone, but still allowing your skin to breathe. This is what I look like, and I'm never really trying to look any different with makeup. I'm just trying to maybe hide a pimple, hide a blemish, or hide any broken veins here and there. Um, so I am going to show you the products I use to achieve this look. If you are interested, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first step that I find very, very crucial in creating kind of that no makeup makeup is plush, vibrant skin. So I am so happy to finally be able to try the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. Um, this is formulated for all skin types. Um, but for me, the reason why I am so excited to pick this up is because it is clinically tested to help with discoloration. Now, as you guys kind of have heard, I have mild rosacea, um, and from that, I also have a few broken capillaries, um, and that is just caused from sun damage. It's also caused from a change of pressure, so if you go from hot to cold. So because of that, I'm always trying to work on pigmentation and kind of just to all over even out my skin tone color. Um, so as you can tell, the formula is very thick, so you just know it's gonna be very hydrating. Um, so I'm only gonna use about that much, warm it up in between my fingers, and I do wanna do my makeup with my hair behind my back, and I'm just going to apply that all over my face, and already I can just feel how plumping this formula feels. It also isn't very potent, so you're not gonna experience too much of a fragrance, which I find very, very soothing. Um, so in conjunction with that, I'm also going to be using the It Cosmetics. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. And the reason why I chose this as my current eye cream is because it smooths, brightens, and de-puffs um, any lines and wrinkles that you have. Um, so again, a very, very plush formula. You only need a little bit amount. As you guys can tell, I am looking off camera. I do have a mirror over here, so that's where I'm going to be applying a lot of my products. Um, but I do apply it underneath my eye and I also bring it up to my eyelid as well because we're not neglecting any part of our face. After you've given your skincare a few minutes to dry, obviously you want the products to absorb into your skin. I am now going to apply my primer. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. As you guys can see, I mentioned this in my last video with Sephora Inside JCPenney, and I love this primer. I find that it's very hydrating, and it does just that, allows the makeup to grip into your skin. And then I also do find that it's a little bit plumping, so it kind of gives you the makeup a little bit of an adhesive so that it sticks on. So I'm just gonna apply this in the areas that I think I would need, which is going to be around my nose, my chin, underneath my nose and then my forehead as well. So obviously for this video, we are going to focus on skin. When doing a no makeup makeup look, you just kind of want to enhance your natural features. I find that for me, that's the most flattering makeup anyways. Um, so the fact that this line has been made with dermatologists and also plastic surgeons as well, and obviously not all of us are happy with our skin sometimes. So these products just kind of allow you to maybe diminish your imperfections a little bit, but 
still allowing your skin to breathe. Um, I mentioned in my last video, we are not mask wearing people, okay? You want to have skin. You want it to look like this is who you are. That's why I like these products. They're not heavy, but they still give me the look that I'm going for. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Bye Bye Under Eye. This is a full coverage waterproof um, concealer. As you can see here, this is my color. I am in medium honey. This has anti-aging peptides. Um, it also has some antioxidants in there. There's some vitamins. So it's going to help reduce your wrinkles and kind of diminish any fine lines. It's going to help conceal those broken capillaries like I mentioned. Um, and I'm going to just take, this is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection. So it does come with a concealer side, which is what I'm going to use. Um, I kind of like to just apply any product to my hand first, um, just so I can control how much I need. Um, and this is a very, very concentrated formula, so a little goes a long way. So now I'm just taking my finger and buffing out the concealer. I find that fingers work nicely when blending because it just kind of helps you warm up the product so that it distributes evenly. So as you can see, I just take my ring finger and I kind of pat. You never want to be too harsh, harsh with your skin. Um, obviously our skin is delicate, so we're not trying to again, add any more wrinkles. That's the whole point of this product is to kind of help diminish them. Um, and as you can see, a little does go a long way. So if you find that your fingers are not distributing the product as easily as you want, you can take the other side of this brush. As you see, it has that flat top. So that's really going to help you buff out that product. Uh, again, use your finger to warm it up and then just take the brush to really blend it out. Now I'm going to be applying the CC cream. So this is such an amazing product, especially for people who are in the sun with the summer months coming up. It has SPF 50, okay? I am not gonna lie, I'm someone who totally neglects SPF. Um, so the fact that I'm wearing a CC cream, which is a light formula, again, allowing my skin to breathe, and on top of it is going to help prevent any future sun damage is a check plus in my book. It's also color correcting. I just like to take a little bit in my fingers, again, these products are highly concentrated, so you don't need to go too crazy with them. I warm up the product, and then I just kind of evenly pat it around my face where I would need it. And you can go ahead and use your fingers to kind of maneuver the product around. You can use whatever um, brush that you have. Again, I really like that flat top kabuki brush. Um, and that's what I'm actually gonna take at the end to just make sure that everything is where it needs to be. Um, but because this is a CC cream, it's very, very hydrating. Um, so if you have dry skin, this is a great option. And it's also a great option for an everyday look. Um, you know, I'm trying to kind of stay away from foundation. I realize my skin just doesn't need it, but I do like the coverage that foundation provides. Um, so that's why something like a CC cream is a great alternative um, because it's still gives you that coverage without making your face feel heavy, which seems to be the theme of this video. I'm gonna again just take that flat top kabuki and just evenly buff it out, take it down to your neck. Again, we don't wear masks around here. You guys you may be seeing that my face does not match my skin. Um, my chest is obviously a little bit darker. That's because I do get sun on my chest and the rest of my body, whereas I wear a hat or use heavy duty sunscreen when I am diligently in the sun, um, but that's okay. We're just gonna fix that with bronzer later. So to set that concealer and CC cream, we are going to use the Bye Bye Pores. This is a translucent poreless finish airbrush powder, okay? So I like to tap the top when I open it um, because we are going to put that in the lid um, and use a powder brush to kind of distribute. It does come with a puff, but we don't need that, but that is very great for travel. This is a great way to control how much product you need, and because it is a translucent powder, you don't need too much. So I like to use it in the cap. And now I'm gonna take the IT Cosmetics. This is the Heavenly Luxe Wand Ball Powder. I am so excited for this brush. My roommate Carly has it and absolutely loves it. Um, it's very multifunctional, so you can use it for blush, you can use it for bronzer, you can use it as a um, setting powder like I'm gonna do. Um, but I am just so excited to have this. 
and it is very, very soft. Um, so it's not going to be too abrasive on your skin. As you can see, I'm just using this to set anywhere that I find my skin might get a little bit oily. This powder is infused with Bye Bye Pores optical blurring technology, um, so it's going to just really diminish any look of pores or fine lines that I know we all have. Like I mentioned, this brush is multi-purpose, so I'm going to use the Benefit Cosmetics. This is the Cheek Leader, and I have the Mini Bronze Squad Palette. So I am going to take Hula, which is just that nice deep bronze color, and I'm going to apply it anywhere that I want to contour. So maybe where my cheekbones are, I'm going to do it where the sun would hit me, which would be on my forehead. And then again on the other side, and just kind of you want an all over bronze. This is supposed to be just an everyday look. The no makeup makeup, so you just want to add a little bit of glow to your skin um, without looking like you have too much going on. Um, I'm also going to then take that gold rush and we are going to apply that to our cheeks. Um, that has such a nice little ambient light to it. So as you can see, it almost kind of looks like you have a highlighter on already, but you don't. Um, and we are going to finish with that middle color. This is Cookie. You guys are going to be blown away how beautiful that highlight is. And I like how these products apply with the CC cream um, because they almost don't create any crazy lines. Like as you can see, it just kind of all seamlessly blends. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more bronzer just because bronze goddess, let's go. As you can see, I just applied four different face products all with this brush. So I am beyond stoked to have this in my collection. I did curl up my lashes off camera, but I am going to take the It Cosmetics. This is the Superhero Mascara. Um, so this is clinically shown to give you volume and length. As you can see, those bristles are nice and compact, so they're really going to help separate each individual lash. So this is a very subtle but still voluminous mascara, um, and it's great for days that, again, you just want to enhance your natural features. You aren't trying to look like you have fake lashes, but obviously you want your lashes to be shown, so I really like um, the effect. This is actually only two coats, and you can apply some to your lash line as well. Last but not least, I'm going to end this tutorial with brows. This is the IT Cosmetics brow power. The way that the oral tip is formulated, it's actually going to mimic the look of real hair. And it is smudge proof, so I'm just going to thicken these up a little bit, um, put the marks in areas where I think I need a little bit more coverage. It has brow enhancing biotin, there's also antioxidants in here, so the whole point of this it cosmetics line is that it's going to help treat your problems rather than cover them up, which is huge for me. I mean, we can apply all the makeup we want, but if we're not treating the source of the problem, you're never gonna get your desired results. I always have to finish with brushing my hairs up. I just think it really adds a full and natural look. And last but not least, I'm gonna finish with my favorite gloss. This is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. And this is in the color Fenty Glow. So I love the applicator on this. It's just a very nice natural color. but still gives your lips that plump, youthful glow. So as you guys can tell, this look is just very, very natural. It's very enhancing. Again, we are enhancing our natural features. Um, and I think I look exactly like myself, um, just a little bit more concealed and even toned. If you are interested in any of these products, I will have the links for them listed down below. But also be sure to check out your local Sephora inside JCPenney, where you can also purchase these products that I mentioned in this video. Please comment down below with the, your favorite product that you think enhances your natural beauty. Until my next video, I will see you guys then. Bye! Mwah.